What's up, y'all? It's MGTOW Universe here. Back with another rant. And, um, someone who I'm subscribed to, his name is V. Check him out. He has great content. I'll put his link down, um, in the description bar. It's great to contact. He has a video <clears throat> talking about this article. And I just had, and I just had to make my own. Because, uh, yeah, this is uh, some ridiculousness. Um, I mean, what's this title? BuzzFeed staffers turned themselves into Victoria's Secret models, and they let it all hang out. Well, they half right. They do let it all hang out. Uh, I haven't actually read the article yet, so I'm going to read that and give my opinions while we talk about it. But I'm just looking at this. I'm just like... All right, let's just go from left, left, left to right. Um, this chick, um, you, yuck. I mean, it's one thing to be fat; it's another thing to be fat and like no ass. Like that's that's just bad luck. Next, we got the, uh, I guess the Indian chick, long hair. Um, nothing special about the body. Um, this chick <laughs> with the double guns. Um, Actually has an elbow on the Indian chick's boob, but another flat 180 degree ass. Only reason why you see the little bump is because she's, I guess, bending her leg or whatever. Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. And of course we got, I guess, African American chick. Um, she does have hair. I'll give her that. I mean, I mean, if that's a weave, then she needs a new weave. Right? It's mm -mm, time to hang it up. But uh, wow, she's tall and she's fat. And then what? What pose is she doing? What is that pose? Is that supposed to be like a modeling pose? Next, um, I guess Asian. Well, I don't know. Asian maybe. Nothing special. Um, slap her ass. She probably she's probably gonna say you hit my back or something. Uh, one on the end has eyes closed. <laughs> Uh, she's tall too. Got a little curve of an ass, but again, nothing special. Uh, do women really want to want their models plump and showing all their flaws? Uh, have no idea. Probably not. According to the BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed female staffers who dress up like Victoria's Secret swimsuit models and subject themselves to a photo shoot on a beach in Malibu. Yes, they really most definitely do. They dress up like Victoria's Secret swimsuit models with those outfits. Okay, if you say so. Big kudos to the BuzzFeed women who decided to do this. This is underlined. What is this? Oh, come on. Anyways. This is a fantastic story idea. Pretty ballsy of them, really. Now, why would now why would you say it's pretty ballsy of them? Because they're unattractive. Let's see. Oh my goodness, even worse. Um. Eh. Okay, I guess they did use the same outfits. No. Try smiling. <sighs> what you trying to show off an ass? No. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Hell no. And she's covering up something. Is that is she supposed to be covering up her boobs? I mean, neither picture has much of much boobs to be even covering up. But I digress. I guess that's that water is really cold face. Um, no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Oh boy. 
You know, I'm just curious as to what the world will look like um, in a hundred years. I mean, it's just let's read some of the comments. So tired of this real women rubbish. The models are no less real than a BuzzFeed crew. <laughs> All women are real women. This article is garbage. Way to be a culprit in the very thing you're intending to eliminate. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, back to the article. Uh, but why do they have to ruin it with their opinions? As girls, we grew up idolizing the women we saw in magazines and hoping that maybe someday, we, when we finally grew up, we would look in the mirror and see the same beauty in ourselves. They wrote, every summer... We are exposed to the flawless pictures of Victoria's Secret models. And every summer we wonder why, when that bathing suit arrives in the mail, we put it on and don't feel flawless. Hmm. Good question. Uh, the BuzzFeed ladies think it's too vital. It's vital to show women as they really are. In other words, as they are. It's the Dove commercial all over again. What Dove commercial are they talking about? Does anyone know? Just send me a link or anything. I have no idea. We think it's very important for women of all different shapes, sizes, and colors to rock these bathing suits and give an accurate depiction of what a beach body really is, they wrote. So that's what we did. Beach body. Here's another one over here. That, I mean... <sighs> Lord have mercy. Whew. Anyways... The women get pretty explicit about things like their boobs and their period. Oh, Lord. Period juice discussion. I might have to cut this short, actually. Nina Mo Mohan claims to have large breasts, but does she? Now, who is Nina Mohan? I have fairly large boobs, and it's really hard to find a bathing uh, find a suit that lets me move around and not flash people, she said. I'm guessing that's the, that's the big black chick. Let's, well, let's look this up. Let's look this person up. Let's see what Google comes back with. Mm, where did I leave off? The BuzzFeed feature has six women in Victoria's Secret suits running on the beach towards a camera in various states of sexy poses, some of which include cleavage. Hmm. Okay, so that's the, the Indian chick. So that would be her. She thinks she has large boobs? Really? I guess all I had to do was look on this page. Eh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. What large boobs? Am I missing something, guys? Okay, anywho. Uh, <laughs> many of the women complain about the sand hurting their knees. Oh, you poor thing. The pain of sucking in their tummies and how freezing the water was. Women problems. This being BuzzFeed, where everything is painfully politically correct, Nina even turned the whole thing into a racial matter, of course. Looking at these models was just a constant reman reminder that never in my adult life have I been that skinny or white, so I can't pretend that I relate. Nina whined. It sucks because there are different ways to represent bikini bodies and beauty in general. But we're force-fed one image. I wish I could see someone like me in a magazine, but I'm still waiting. Well, if someone saw someone like you in a magazine, this is Nina, according to Google. Uh, that magazine, that issue wouldn't sell anyways. It wouldn't last long. Next up, Allison Bag. Who is Allison Bag? Uh, yeah. Buzzfeed. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, which one is she? Is this her? I guess it is. Okay. Okay. 
not bad, not good either. But she is also complaining. Uh, no, next up, uh, Allison Bag. She's in a pretty paisley one piece. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's definitely her. Anyways, but she's also complaining. She says she feels exposed in bathing suits, even when she's not posing for a fake Victoria's Secret. Um, photo shoot. Everyone has cellulite, stretch marks, and putch. Everyone? Eh, I don't know about that. She said, explain that the, only you are focusing on your problem areas. Actually, most women notice every other woman's problem areas. We like to c compare and contrast. Okay. So, she's self-conscious about her flaws. Everyone has cellulite? I mean, if this is her, I mean, okay, but she's not really, she's not fat. I mean, I guess she's fuckable. I mean, she's not unfuckable. I guess these are the same, same, well, most of them. Yeah, okay. So she's not Asian. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Kristen uh, Chirico. Who's that? Ah, big white bitch. Okay. One of the plus <laughs> size models in the shoot probably has the best sense of humor of them all. First of all, this bathing suit was... First of all, this bathing suit was the tits. She said of her dark plum strapless one piece that fully covered her breasts. Like any other good BuzzFeeder, she takes selfies. Okay. I'm not really in a pose that really demonstrate how kick ass it felt, but ask around. I spent this whole day wiggling around and taking selfies and generally enjoying myself, she said. When Kristen attempted to pose like her model, she says she got her hand stuck in the vicinity of her boobs. Really? Let's take a look. Oh, that's not her. That's big bitch number two. And this is big bitch number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's she said what? She ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. she says she got her hand stuck in the vicinity of her boobs. Okay. It looks like she's struggling. Like this chick has her right hand on her left leg. And this chick has her right hand and like almost in the center of her belly oh my goodness you've got to be shitting me what is wow okay moving on Sheridan Watson the black chick the other larger model it's also the other larger model wow it's also hilarious and that she loves to drop the f-bomb of course aggressive black woman stereotypical. She said her boobs felt like they were trying to escape from prison. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Imagine just how excited I was when I had to put on a fucking swimsuit on a fucking beach with my fucking photo posted next to that to that of a fucking Bihari, Bihari Prince Lou a Nam Namibian Nambian supermodel who married fucking Adam Levine. <laughs> okay. Look at like this is her navel is like a crater. That's the first thing I notice. It's like a mouth. Like like here's a nipple. Well, it's not really a nipple, but like, like if there's a nipple here or here and there's like a mouth, it will like talk. But I digress. She has hair. I'll give her that. I don't think that's weave. It looks natural. Next, Laura Parker is probably my favorite BuzzFeed model and that nothing is off limits and what she'll admit is like a car accident. Except for BuzzFeed, this is a feature. She's actually the journalist who most resembles her Victoria's Secret model, but she's too busy talking about her period and her bloating to let any arrogance come through. Okay, next. Laura says she wants a magazine where the women look like her. I want a magazine that I can pick up and look at the women and say, Oh my God, that's so me. Not, Oh my God, I wish that was me. Hmm. Okay. The funniest thing, and by the way, 
the reason why I don't know if women didn't have something to look up to I guess they wouldn't have something to strive towards I mean uh, like I said I would love to see what the world looks like 100 years from now because people in uh, 1915 that were around during that time uh, we make fun of those people but anyways the funniest thing about Kristen King who wears a beautiful black b bikini which one is that the black one okay is that she didn't even bother to take a photo shoot seriously she ate a whole pack of pop tarts before the cameras began rolling a whole pack of pop tarts is that I hope that's like the pack that comes in too and not like the whole box I didn't think I'd be splashing around in the waves or tossing my hair in the wind while a Calvin Harris song played in the background she said Kristen says magazines just make you feel like crap well Above all, these women want you to know that they're all fabulous, no matter your shape and size. Okay, yeah, whatever. This is obviously a, um, a female empowerment kind of article, I suppose. Let's read some of the comments. Look like their idea is, if I cannot meet the standard, the standard will have to meet me. Only feminist bigots will do something like this. Well, I agree. Uh, women uh, would rather not. They would just rather someone else come to their standard or meet their standard uh, response actually most women will actually most women notice every other woman's problem areas we just like to compare and contrast and here's the real unvarnished truth they don't care so much what guys think about them as they do as they do other women to you younger guys this is a truth you need to have buried in you, into your brain it will help you navigate the minefield of the female mind yeah fuck that shit in my opinion, you are a truly bad person. <laughs> it's not really an argument. Uh, it's the ad. It's called Fat. Not everyone gets a trophy for trying. Grow up. Right on the country is headed for the sewer. <laughs> my eyes. My eyes. When viewing the ladies at BuzzFeed, always remember to wear your protective goggles. <laughs> Uh, this is another ad. Um, excuse me, I need to go work out so liberals don't have to. We pay the taxes, uh, the support to support your family. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Apparently not. You're all the beach dressing, dressed in bathing suits. <laughs> all right. A few of those gals are in danger of being mistaken for beached whales. The Enviroweenies are organizing a rescue as we speak. <laughs> There's a reason why chicks with an addiction to ribs are in swimsuit models. Why would you buy a fry if you look like an Edsel? Ed the big white chick with glasses and the black garbage bag on, on made my dog gag. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. They're like the worst. It's not black. It's dark, plump, strapless one piece that fully covered her breast. You didn't even read the article. And you are very disrespectful and crude on your Ferrari Edsel thing. Would the prize be Ferrari or Edsel? I like a bargain. Oh, gee. My mistake. Dark, plump. Well, that, well wasn't that the f full pass, full pass of the year? Uh, you know, that makes all the difference. Suddenly a 450-pound waddling beach whale with a blowhole and more cellulite than Monsanto <laughs> suddenly looks like Taylor Swift forgive me no cannot forgive, can't forgive yet your lack of accurate information is mean you don't really pay attention to that which you are making comment try again and please don't post a full size picture of yourself so we can call we can all call you names I am sure you won't mind your obsessive compo okay so this is going back and forth Please, lady, respect the people around you, and for the love of God, put on some clothes. <laughs> oh my God, the one, the one just left, the one just left of center is making uh, handgun gestures with her hands. <laughs> As a responsible company, Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed should fire her. And that's the chick with the uh, the double guns. <laughs> All right, um, wonderful. Now I have to learn Braille. Ah, 
need brain bleach and eye bleach. Now I am bleeding from every orifice. Try not to go to a public beach or Walmart. Here, dump some of your eyes. Dump some of this on your eyes. You'll feel much better. It's a little hamster with a flower hat. If, and okay, whatever. Fugly, every one of them. I agree. Your profile picture is literally a monkey. Uh, okay. All right, so that's enough. Enough, you know, uh, shenanigans. Enough for the day. Just wanted to share my opinion of this article with you all. Yeah, have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and talk to y'all later. Peace.